when people talk to me and I tell them I do a sport, I get them to guess the sport. And they always guess gymnastics, they guess kayaking, they guess every sport but weightlifting. So when I tell them, they're all surprised because they expect me to look big and muscly and have a moustache. <laughs> but I don't have any of those things. <laughs> I got into weightlifting through my father. Um, he himself was a weightlifter back, back in the day. Um, he'd gone to the Commonwealth Games, he'd gone to the Olympics, he represented Iran as well as England. He got me into the sport, he owned a gym himself back a few years back and like when I was a kid he'd just make me train one hour a week. What drives me in this sport and what keeps me going is, is really and truly the Olympics, Olympic 2016. I want to follow in my father's footsteps, I want to get, I want to do what he done and be the first Iranian girl to go to the Olympics to compete and do weightlifting. I need to be on that platform. I helped out in the Olympics 2012 for the weightlifting. I was there to help and I saw the platform and it got me that much more motivated to just keep training. The platform itself is just being in front of the whole world and showing them what you've achieved out of all your years of training and hard work. Just showing them, this is me, this is what I can do, I'm here to win. I wasn't confident back when I was a child. With weightlifting, it's helped me build up that confidence. I was very shy. Everyone that knows me, I was very shy. I was the quiet one. Weightlifting has brought me out of my shell. I, Because you're under the spotlight. You are there to perform, to show these three judges and the audience what you can do. It brings out a lot of confidence in you to be able to go, this is me and I can do this. I have to be very careful of how I train because I need to make sure I am lifting correctly. Weightlifting is a very technical sport. You will get to a certain level with whatever natural strength you have, but without good technique, you can't exceed that level. Because of my lifestyle, because of how committed I am to my weightlifting, how committed I am to my sport, I don't really have time to engage in relationships. So for now, that is something I've sacrificed in my life because if you want to succeed in some things, you have to let go of something. My future partner is going to have to accept the fact that I'm a weightlifter, that I will be at an Olympic level, hopefully. A lot of guys in the gym, they don't train around me, because when I train, they, they go over to the other side of the gym. It's normal, so he's going to have to be very accepting to the fact that I'd be stronger, potentially, <laughs> unless I marry a weightlifter, which will be fine. But we'll see about that. <laughs>